Good morning students. Let us talk about male and female reproductive system in detail in this video. Let us first talk about the male reproductive system. Male reproductive system consists of a pair of testes. Testes are the main function of testes is production of male gamete that is sperm. So testes main function is production of sperm which are the male gametes. Now testes they lie in a sac like structure called scrotum. As you can see the testes they are lying in a sac like structure called scrotum. Now why do testes lie in a sac like structure called scrotum? Because scrotum it provides a temperature 2 to 2.5 degree less than the body temperature. So the scrotum has a temperature which is 2 to 2.5 degree less than the body temperature and this temperature is essential for formation of sperm. Hence the testes lie inside the scrotum. Now the testes further lead into epididymis. Epididymis they store the sperm temporarily. The function of epididymis is to store the sperm temporarily. Epididymis further continue into a duct which is known as sperm duct or vasa deferens. So this is the sperm duct or the vasa deferens. The vasa deferens joins a tube from the vasa deferens joins the tube coming from the urinary bladder and hence the penis is the common opening for both the sperm as well as the urine because epididymis which is this is the sperm duct it will join a duct which will come from the urinary bladder and hence the both the duct the epididymis would transport sperm also and it would transport the urine also apart from this there are three accessory male reproductive glands which are seminal vesicle prostate gland and copper's gland which is not shown here the third accessory gland is copper's gland now let us talk about the function of each gland seminal a uh, seminal vesicle it produces seminal plasma Seminal vesicle produces seminal plasma which along with sperm forms the semen. So the seminal vesicle helps in formation of semen which why because it releases seminal plasma which along with sperm will form the semen. The next male accessory gland is prostate gland. Prostate gland makes semen alkaline due to its alkaline secretion it makes semen alkaline due to its alkyl because it pours its alkaline secretion into the sperm the third gland which is the copper's gland it helps in lubrication of penis it helps in lubrication of penis so there are three glands one is seminal vesicle which helps in the secretion of seminal plasma which along with sperm forms the semen prostate gland which releases its alkaline secretion into the sperm third is copper's gland which lubricate the penis now penis it is the male external genitalia male external genitalia now the penis it has the common passage for urine and semen it is the common passage for urine and semen because we know that the vasa deferens or the sperm duct it has joined a duct coming from the urinary bladder so the penis will trans will uh, transfer urine also to outside and semen also to outside now let us talk about female reproductive system female reproductive system consists of a pair of ovary so there are two ovaries the main function of ovary is to release egg which is the female gamete One egg is released by one ovary every month. The next part comes the fallopian tube. 
there are two fallopian tubes on either side of the ovary inside the fallopian tube fertilization of sperm and egg take place next part of the female reproductive system is the uterus uterus it is a pear shaped muscular organ it is a pear shaped organ now the uterus it has three layers there are three layers of uterus that are the inner one is known as endometrium middle one is known as myometrium and the external layer is perimetrium the main function of uterus is that by its layer which is endometrium it nourishes the developing embryo it nourishes the developing embryo with the help of its the inner layer endometrium and this myometrium layer it undergoes contraction during delivery of the child it undergoes contraction during the delivery of the child now let us talk about next part which, which is vagina vagina uterus opens into vagina which is a muscular narrow tube so the uterus will open into vagina which is a muscular narrow tube now the fallopian tube the fallopian tube consists of three parts which are infundibulum isthmus and ampulla the infundibulum the isthmus and the ampulla are three parts of the fallopian tube now let us talk about fertilization fertilization refers to fusion of sperm and egg fertilization of sperm and egg takes place inside the fallopian tube fallopian tube is also known as oviduct now at the time of coitus that is sexual intercourse the male will deposit the sperm inside the female reproductive tract these sperms will travel through the uterus and reach the oviduct where fertilization would take place when sperm and egg have fertilized then embryo would be formed first zygote would be formed and after the zygote embryo would be formed this embryo will attach itself to the wall of the uterus and the process of attachment of embryo to wall of uterus is known as implantation now for a period of 9 months the uterus the embryo will develop into the uterus after for the period of 9 months the embryo will develop in the uterus 
This period of nine months during which embryo develops inside the uterus is known as gestation period. After completing the gestation period, the embryo would be ready for the delivery. We should remember that when the embryo attached to the wall of the uterus, there is a structure between them that is known as placenta. So placenta, it is a structure which joins the embryo and the uterus. This placenta helps in exchange of food and oxygen between the embryo and the mother. So placenta is a connection between the mother and the embryo which help in exchange of food and removal of carbon dioxide from the embryo to the mother. Now let us look what happens when fertilization does not take place. If there is no sperm and the, and the egg fusion, that is fertilization has not taken place, then the inner lining of uterus, which we have already learned is endometrium, breaks down to release blood and mucus. So if the egg is not fertilized, the inner lining of uterus which is the endometrium, it will break down in the form of blood and mucus and this is known as menstruation.